I think the the biggest thing for me was just to add um, more athletes. Uh, it, it just it, it's something that keeps coming up in our conference. Um, just the, the level of athleticism uh, keeps increasing year after year. So that was one thing. And obviously, they can't just be athletes. They have to be good soccer players as well. But I definitely went out there and tried to find players who could who could definitely help us in terms of their athletic ability. And um, we did a good job with with this group of of getting players who are who definitely will be able to help us. H was a great pickup for us. Um, uh, she'll play as a center back for us. I think the thing that we like about Aisha is very comfortable with the ball at her feet. So um, very, very quick. Um, Aisha is a, a wonderful young woman. She's also going to compete for Coach Ford on our uh, as a high jumper uh, on his team as well. So it's the first time we've had a, a two-sport athlete, and hopefully it won't be the last. But um, so it's, it's a young lady who's dedicated to her academics but obviously being a two-sport athlete she's she's also dedicated to her sports and she's proven that over the years. D Javon, um, superb athlete, you can see her playing on the left side. Um, someone who got converted late to, to defense, she's just a typical outside back in our conference. Um, very athletic, comfortable with the ball, tough, very very tough kid. Um, goes to Central High School here locally so um, has a great history with the school, knows the school, and um, is very, very proud to, to come here. Um, and then Marissa on the other side, probably going to be one of our fittest kids. Um, just got a superb um, level of fitness, can get up and down that flank all day long. And again, very good on the ball, which, but a tough little kid when it comes to defending. So, but speed, again, just adds our back line. Um, it's going to be all speed. It's going to be a lot of speed back there so we can, um, like I said, match up with the better opponents in our conference. Um, but both of those girls on the outside are definitely going to give us some, some depth in those key positions. Morgan, yeah, uh, out of Tower Hill um, High School in Delaware. Um, again, it wasn't a position I was looking at for this year, um, but I, I happened to be walking past the field she was playing on, and, and she made a great save as I was walking by. And then I kept looking back during the game I was supposed to be watching, and she plays very high out of her, her penalty box, almost like a, a sweeper keeper, which allows the defenders to push up higher because anything that goes over the head, she just she's very comfortable coming out and playing with her feet. So it's something that we didn't have here, and I, I see it giving us another option um, in terms of our attack so we can push our attack a little bit higher up and, and have a goalkeeper who can play that far out of her box. Natalie is a... A very helpful addition in terms of she can also play center back. So if we ever have to go to a back three, she's very comfortable playing as a center back as well. Um, but um, I think she'll end up helping us most as a, as a midfielder, as a as like a holding defensive midfielder. Um, her sister Heidi is at UConn. Um, so the great thing I feel that when I talk to her during the recruiting process is um, Natalie knows what's expected in this conference. She's seen what her sister went through, seen the level of commitment, so she knows the level of play. Um, can't wait to see them play against each other. And then obviously Julia Dolan um, knows the program a lot um, with, with her sister Kelsey's um, been here for two years now. Um, so she's been at a number of our games. She's someone that very good on the ball, but good defensively. So someone, again, we see playing in that center midfielder position to be able to win the ball back for us. But then uh, I see her helping us in the attacking side of the game with her, her passing very, very good on the ball, both feet. Uh, and is very comfortable dribbling out of the midfield as well. So somebody that definitely helps us on the defensive side, but um, I see her also helping on the attack. And Bella, we, we see her going between a, a forward position and a, and a midfield position for us. She's very, very uh, flexible in terms of position. And um, again, strong athlete, just a, a player who has a forward. We, we see her being a, a target player who we can play the ball up to, and she has the strength to hold players off. But um, also, if she gets the opportunity to shoot, has a, has a very, very good shot on her from distance. Uh, Emma Wilkins, it's kind of the same as Bella, very physical as a forward, just makes it very uncomfortable to play against. We, um, we now have a, a group of forwards who, who are like that, and it's something that we kind of look for when we're recruiting. Um, obviously, she's good at putting the ball in the net, uh, but offers us flexibility in that she can play as a wide player as well. Um, loves taking players on 1v1 and putting crosses in the box. So if we need her out there, we can put her out there, but we definitely see her playing as an attacking player. Um, and then, like I said, she's really good at putting defenders under pressure and making life tough for them. So someone that I think complements um, the, the forwards we already have.